Let's get this show on the road, guys. Sunday, no live today because I'm not going to be home. I'm going to be leaving the house for once. So let's woo, let's go ahead and <laughs> give a little applause for that. Um, If you haven't already liked, subscribed, and hit that notification, you bugging. Yeah, let's get into it, man. Uh, Let's go straight away with this melody. We're in the scale of F sharp, and let's see what we can make. I want something bouncy. I want something a little playful. I want something not too serious. You feel me? So... All right, so let's add some more notes on top of this. That could work, right? Be these notes right there, and I'm doing that by holding control and shift, bringing them right over. Let's go ahead and go into the mallets and expand and we can use the, uh, where is it? Gallop Echo, is it that? I like the little like electric kind of feel it has to it. All right, so this uh, melody is only four bars long, so I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate that right over, yeah, that's about right. Do the same thing over here. And it is currently 12 p.m. right now. And I'm gonna try to get this video out at like two or three or four. We can really add in our own delay here. Let's go to a delay eternity. Let's just take it down a little bit to 69. You feel me? Let's see if we can find some sort of lead or something. Let's go to keys. Okay, that could work. Maybe delete these notes. Ooh, that could work, actually. Maybe extend these. Maybe knock these down an octave or knock the first half down an octave. I'm trying to see what else can I add to this to make it just a little bit different. Let's see if we can play with this one more time. They got a nice little bounce to it. I like that. Let's keep it. And what I'm going to do to brighten this up, really, I'm going to take a second version of it, make it unique, then pitch it up an octave. Maybe we can add some reverb on that just a little bit. All right, that sounds fine to me. Let's go to pattern three and start adding some drums on here. Hey. And let's go ahead into the MIDI kit real quick. Throw some uh, 
hi-hat midis. So let's see what we got in here. By the way, little trick, if you have your high, if you have your high, if you have your hi hat selected, all you gotta do is go to the hi hat uh, sort of menu. When you open up the folder, press Control and click on a different one, and it'll just place it in there. That's kind of cool. Eight oh eight in here. And we can what we can actually do is let's go to the original and copy these bottom notes right here and just get these top notes up here. Copy that, throw that into the Zay to pattern three, delete this, control V. And what I find is that the baseline usually serves as a nice little foundation for your 808 pattern. Like that doesn't sound horrible. See, some, something like that could work. But this note, honestly, is too, it's not too low. It's not too low. That's pretty simple. Two uh, semitones down, and then let's do two semitones down. See what that sounds like. Now, all we need to do is add an open hat. Let's go ahead and add this clap, make it a little loud. I'm about to sneeze. <coughs> oh my God. Uh, some AVOX to the 808, some saturation. Really, that's all we're doing. And I need to make some adjustments to that hi-hat and we should be pretty much done. And maybe we can actually just extend this all the way over here. Cut that off, all to you. All to you. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go ahead and add an L1 limiter. I'm gonna go ahead and lay this out real quick and show you sort of the layout as the beat plays. If you guys haven't already liked, subscribed, and hit that notification, you're bugging. And I'm gonna see you guys um, on Monday, which is tomorrow, the next day. Probably, maybe, hopefully. No live today. So um, yeah, that, that's pretty much it. See you guys. Gang, gang.